コスパが良くてでもお腹満腹だし店員さんの明るさでお店の清潔感お財布に優しいところだと思いますお待たせしましたあ美味しそう何食べても美味しいんでまあ値段も安いんで、うん、なんかのお店の雰囲気がやっぱ一番いいような気がしますいやー<笑>繁盛の理由ってどういうところだと思いますか。味とお人柄と、うんはい、お店に来るとおばちゃんに会えるのがね、なんか元気もらえますよね。出てんね、ランチね。ご飯食べたの。食べた。うん、in this day and age, it's not like it's set who continues the business. In the end, if someone were to say, I'll do it, that'd be great, but. And I don't want to do it is also not an issue. He may be saying that it's all right if I don't want to, but you can see that he's trying to push me in the direction. It's already that kind of vibe. <laughs> Momotaro. Starting from pre opening preparations. A Chinese style family run izakaya in Kiyosumi Shirakawa, Tokyo. In the morning, father and son prepare the food. The owner, Fuji san, this is chicken carcass for making the soup. Chicken carcass and pig feet. The soup is cleanly prepared using chicken carcass and pig feet. Because we use pig feet, it'll be up to five or six hours, I think. Using chicken doesn't take a long time though. What time do you start in the morning? We start after cleaning the hall. First, we mop the place, and then we start. But usually, we get here at 5 in the morning. I'm here earlier though. My working speed has gradually decreased. Everything takes a bit longer now. The mornings used to be slower too. Now, we can't really keep up. One way or another, we manage to be done by 11. <laughs> the owner tells me about how he has gotten slower recently. The bamboo shoots are sliced thinly. Pre cut ingredients are not used. They're cut into thin slices. The owner's son. After I graduated vocational school, I cooked at a French restaurant. So recently, there are many vendors using the pre cut ones. We don't buy those, so I need to do the cutting. But I got faster as soon as I returned home, I guess. I prepare the cut ingredients by myself. So if I'm not fast enough, I won't be able to finish in time. What do you use the bamboo shoots for? The thin slices for pepper steak. And we also put them in our spring rolls. For Chinese rice bowls, we use the square ones. And also for gomoku ramen and those kind of things. The way they're cut depends on the dish they're used in. They're boiled once after cutting. They need to be pre boiled because of their strong egg like taste. What's the difference between the French and the Chinese cuisine? Mainly the seasoning and ingredients, don't you think? Everything that's used is different, even the equipment. I used to be at a hotel. You know, the ovens, the convections, like the salamander type oven and lots of other equipment. It even had a pantry. I had to need bread too. In a privately run shop, the only thing that uses fire is this gas stove, right? But that's also different. I've only ever been familiar with the Chinese cuisine here at home, so I don't exactly know if it's true or not. He used to be a chef at a hotel's French restaurant. A clean and polished kitchen, a sign of security and trust. It's a real challenge keeping a kitchen in this state because a lot of oil is used in Chinese cuisine. It's cleaned on a daily basis. 
party. Even then, this much oil accumulates. The kitchen is cleaned every day. The knives are all well taken care of, which makes them sharp. This is for the stir-fry dishes. I put the pieces in here. This cabbage is used for stir-fry dishes. It gets more difficult to use as the amount decreases, because it gets shorter in height, and the knife also starts hitting the board. How many years has it been? So this here is the second one. The first one became like that, over there, but it had a nice length to it. So now we use a petty knife. They're unusable after around 10 years. This is the first knife. At first, it was a long beef knife. How long have you had the store? It's been 36 years. I opened the shop when my parents fell ill. I returned home. My dad ran a general store here. This here used to be the parking lot. The other side of the road had the general store. Four cars were able to park here. I had to look after my parents, so I returned home. I used to make Western food and also Japanese food. There were some restaurants around here, but not a single Chinese one. So then we built this place and opened the shop. Yeah, there were no Chinese restaurants. There was a soba restaurant and also a Japanese restaurant and also lots of ramen shops, but no Teishoku restaurants. It only used to be the space in the back, but it was expanded and became the current shop. Gyoza. Do the skins come from the noodle factory? Yeah, we get them from there. I'm not really the best at rolling gyoza. So my wife's the one who takes care of that. This isn't really skillful, you see. Doesn't matter how many times I try. He isn't good at rolling gyoza, he says. I can't do it in a pretty way. These gyoza are filled to the brim. That's right, you are wearing a corset. Are you alright? I got stenosis of the neck and lower back. Spinal stenosis, it's called. The main cause were the deliveries, but, well, I stopped doing those now. I did those for 35 years and stopped exactly one year ago. I couldn't do it anymore for good. I just couldn't carry the food up the stairs anymore. The doctor also said it would be better for me to stop. So now I'm only running the shop. There were lots of deliveries, because there were so many. Stopping deliveries must have been a bummer for the guests. Until recently, they offer delivery service. Many orders came in. Working while standing is not an issue. If it's work where you can sit down, sure, no problem. But I can't do that now. So, I started taking an additional day off on Wednesdays. Before, it was only Sundays and holidays. One whole week is just a waste. And I also gotta go to the hospital. They recently increased their closing days. Physical labor like this is hard on the body. What's your age? I'm 67. Only because I move this much, I'm able to move this much. If I wouldn't move, I wouldn't be able to, right? Because this is Chinese cuisine, a lot of lard is used. Have the rising prices of raw material affected you? Oh, hi. Yes, we were. Also affected by it. We raised the prices by 50 yen in August. Menu Across the board. Oh, whatever you try, it's just unbearable. It went up in February or April once, and then again in July. And now it looks like it's gonna go up again. Which is fine as long as they tell us, but that's not always the case. And then, without anything being said, I'm like, huh? The prices went up. Before you know it, it's gone up so much, I really don't know why. I don't ask what went up, rather, I ask what didn't go up. Because that's faster, right? 
In October, beer also went up. That's right, beer. But they're only talking about bottled beer. So maybe it won't go up that much. What material was affected the most? Everything, basically. Pork meat also went up. But don't get me started on the oil. It's double of what it used to be. Yeah, double, really. It was just under 3,000 yen. Now it's a little under 6,000. I wonder why it went up like that. But the gyoza... There are many places that didn't raise the prices. Because gyoza always sell well. So instead of raising the prices, they just work harder. The skin too. It's like everything went up. But yeah, we're already in the business, so there's nothing we can do. Better not to think about it too much. It had quite the impact. It'll stop at some point, but I wonder if prices will go down. Also for all the things that went up. A serious concern. Will the day come when prices decrease? How many grams per dumpling? I don't know. Shall we weigh one? I just do it freehand. Or rather, I think they're about the same. How many grams, I wonder? Maybe about 35? That much? Oh, look at that. Between 35 and 40. They're one size bigger than the standard gyoza. Eating before they open the shop. What do you usually have? Because anything else would be a hassle, I just make the daily special in the morning. I make the day's lunch and have it as breakfast. The same for lunch. My father doesn't eat, so I just go ahead, find some time and make some lunch. What about dinner? Yeah, with a drink perhaps, but I don't have lunch. I want to sit down, relax and eat, right? But the shop's always open. And if a guest is just left sitting there, I just don't feel like eating. Have you been thriving from the start? After I returned home, we weren't busy at all. About 15 years ago, around the time the bubble burst. The companies themselves went crazy. There were so many printing shops around here, and suddenly they all went out of business. Many of them were our guests. It was terrible at the time, just like a ghost town. But at the same time, we did many deliveries. They had a hard time back then, but now guests are lining up in front of the shop. They tasted the gyoza from my shop. Making gyoza style soup using their original soup, salt and sesame oil. Do you ever fight? All the time. <laughs> Usually because of small things, all year round. But we both try to put up with each other. <laughs> me and mom too. If we fight, it's always me against them. Two against one. Today's lunch special. For lunch, we don't serve any leftover food. If we settle on this for lunch, we start cutting and preparing from scratch. Because it's a daily special, no leftovers are used in the preparation. Fresh ingredients are prepared and served to the guests. It's difficult with the mask on. <laughs> because of the heat and them having to taste food, wearing masks is tough for chefs. Gyoza skin and noodles have arrived from the noodle factory. Right in front of the shop, public bathhouse and sauna. Chinese food right after a bath sounds great. I'm curious about the origin of the shop's name. The owner's wife. The last kanji is made up of the radicals for tree, rice and woman. So in the beginning, he wanted to use a name containing that kanji. He read many different history books and whatnot. But while trying to find a name, we were just like, let's go for a character that's simple and easily likable. We were thinking about Kintaro or Momotaro, names like that. 
But there are many sushi shops called Kintaro, so we chose Momotaro. <laughs> it's easy to understand, so we thought it'd work. <laughs> the set menu is popular for lunch. Opening of the shop. Even Grandma joins in to help out at the store. The sets include big portions and the prices are cheap. Vegetable stir fry. Ramen set. Cantonese ramen. Stir fried chives with meat. Lunch of the day. Lunch of the day.
Chinese rice bowl. Chinese rice bowl. Stamina Donburi. Ramen set. If there's nothing else to do, the dirty dishes are washed. Let's talk to some guests. I come here two or three times a week. No matter what you get, it's always tasty. I often get ramen or vegetable stir fry. And the prices are cheap too. I come here often. But I really think the place's vibe is just the best. It's the kind of atmosphere that you don't find around here. Keep up the good work until I quit my job. <laughs> What's popular on the menu? We get many orders for gyoza and set meals. Maybe it's because it just feels like a good deal, but people mainly get set meals for lunch. A la carte is also popular at night, because people want to eat while having a drink. Yeah, on the weekends we get lots of people who enjoy drinking. Sets are popular, so the shop is full. Gonmoku Yakisoba. Chinese rice bowl set. Gyoza. What are you particular about when it comes to gyoza? That they're handmade. We properly prepare them in the morning, but we don't know how many will go out on the same day. Roll them, make them, and we leave them like that. We don't freeze them. How many do you serve in one day? As soon as lunchtime's over, most people start ordering them. Five should be about right. We sell around 160 a day. Chinese cuisine is booming lately. I got Chinese rice bowl, and I had the stamina donburi. The amount of rice is a bit much, but I'm someone who likes to eat, so it was delicious. They really got the broth right. 
soup too, with the soy sauce base creating a delicious and nostalgic taste. He takes me here now and then. It's been 30 years already and the taste hasn't changed. An unchanged and nostalgic taste. The taste and the people's charm. That old lady, right? <laughs> coming here and seeing her just cheers me up, really. I'll never stop coming here. Already looking forward to it. It's always tasty here. I hope you can continue for a long time to come. Grandma's in charge of the register. Any tips on how to maintain a good flow? Maybe... Dad seems to work with hesitation. While the younger folks tend to dash around. Watching each other's moves and cooking accordingly seems to be the trick. People are still coming. Set of the day. Half fried rice set. Set of the day. Fried rice set. A rain shower, so the laundry is taken in. <laughs> The boss's wife is back. Relief for now. Bye. I'm 
Have fried rice it and change to tamme. Twice cooked rice bowl. Really seems tough on the body. At that time, I was still doing deliveries. About three years ago, I did it till the end. But in the end, I fell down the stairs twice while out on delivery because my legs went numb. I couldn't feel them anymore, so I missed a step. That started happening, so I decided to put an end to it. I went to the hospital and got an MRI. On top of that, it turned out my spine is all crooked and worn down. If I were to overdo it even more, it wouldn't be worth it, I was told. Did you get hurt when you fell down the stairs? The delivery box was crushed because I landed on it. I didn't break any bones, but that box was broken. So you did deliveries up until COVID broke out. Uh, yep, right up until then. We had so many orders either way. Even though we have this shop, there were so many deliveries. It was so painful I couldn't move. I couldn't walk up the stairs anymore. It was no use anymore. So I stopped. Meat, egg, and wood ear stir fry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Gyoza. Stir fried chives with meat. Half fried rice set. Fried rice set. Today, I got the fried rice set. Fried rice and stir fried vegetables. And it also came with soup. Like, it's a great deal. I'm really full as well. The vegetables are really healthy and got lots of nutrients in them. It was so tasty. The soup was also done just right. The staff is also in a great mood and the place feels clean. And of course, the servings are huge. It's a world-friendly place. Thank you for the meal. It was really delicious. Also, thank you for the fun conversations. I'll fondly remember this. I'd love to stop by again. It was so tasty. As soon as the peak is over, the kitchen is cleaned right away. Done with one step and it's right to cleaning. Then we prepare for later and clean again at night. We clean several times a day. The worst thing you can do is leaving it greasy like this. Let me order something too. Fried chicken wonton. Spicy leek chashu. Gyoza. Sesame miso ramen. Bottled beer. Time to take it easy. Thin, crispy skin, well balanced and tasty filling. To say the least, it's devilishly delicious. The juicy chashu pork goes perfectly well with beer. Yum. You absolutely need to include beer in your order. All of the food is high grade. I'll definitely come here on repeat visits. Any plans for the future? I'll leave it to them, as I'm not in a good position to make plans. Little by little, I won't be able to move anymore. Do whatever you want, but as long as I can move, I'll help out. But I'll slow down gradually. If I'm not needed anymore, I'll leave right there and then. <laughs> Running this place by oneself doesn't work out though. With the current situation, even if there's two of us. At most, there used to be six of us. So I brought my wife into the business. Is offering this kind of variety difficult? The preparations are. 
I was thinking about adapting the business structure, so it can be run by a single person. Hiring people is a risk, right? Think about it like that and you gotta make this a one-man business. Which we can't do at this point, because we need at least three people here. Or we could scale back. Even if I fight with my wife, she'll still be able to work for over 10 years. I won't last 10 years maybe, but she won't be able to do the same work as I do. We'll need one more person who's able to handle the same tasks as me. If you think about it, with the way things are now, changing the shop so one person can run it, well, the easy solution would be to scale back. We got too many items on the menu. We don't have a choice then. More and more things were added. Depending on the time of day, we could limit the menu options. We could do that to some degree. And then we tackle the preparation stages, like increasing the storing capacity of the shop. But there's a limit to that too, and the food may lose its tastiness. The French cuisine, on the other hand, for example, you fry one side of a hamburger steak, then finally put it in the oven, put some sauce on there, and then leave it for later. If you need to make ten, it'll take eight or nine steps of preparation, and then leave them like that. But when it comes to Chinese cuisine, stir-frying the vegetables and storing them is a no-go, right? If cutting them is the first step, two to ten will need to take place over there. It takes time as well. So while doing that at one place, we could also get one more pot, as we got two at this point. Working over there has its limits. We're trying though. I wonder if we could do it all here. If it's this and this and this, we'd be able to. But if there's a product we can't make like that, that would become a problem. It's difficult, isn't it? Maybe it's better if we don't. <laughs> if you find something you like, it's better to pursue that. In this day and age, it's not like it's set who continues the business. In the end, if someone were to say, I'll do it, that'd be great, but um, I don't want to do it is also not an issue. He may be saying it's all right if I don't want to, but you can see, he's trying to push me in that direction. It's already that kind of vibe. I'm already letting you do what you like. You can go fishing twice a week, that ain't bad. Everyone enjoys fishing. When they're free, the whole family goes fishing. Well, I do think it's rare. Now, you're good at fishing at darts, right? I don't really do darts anymore. I hope they can keep going for a long time to come. Please support them. Please support them with a comment. Extra scene after this. Helping out, you said. I'm just doing a little bit of work here, really. <laughs> he comes to visit a lot. Everybody comes here quite a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs>